okay okay man you know so let us continue let's continue with the with this thing that we let me see which one is gonna be good for me no this one is not normal not good let's continue with what we have started you know we started this thing and we have to continue man so <clears throat> after putting our support resistance i told you the next thing we're gonna put is Bollinger Band uh indicator uh, oh my god let's put bollinger band insert indicator custom indicator then we go to bollinger bands where is it give me one minute to look for bollinger bands um so hard to find the things Give me a few minutes to look for Bollinger Band, please. Okay. If I don't see it. Okay, sorry. It's, it's going to be here. All right. So we're going to put Bollinger Band and we're going to call it Bollinger Band, uh, whatever it is. Is it 20 or 50? I don't know. Or let's say okay to accept it 50 the 50 period bollinger band is the best that we're going to use okay it's what the professional trader use on a daily basis okay the 50 period bollinger band okay because you know it makes you to see the price properly okay as you can see it on this chart man you know what i mean you see it on this chart the Bollinger Band now follow the price. I don't need to explain much of this, giving you the bottom. You can see the bottom, okay, and giving you the top. You can see the top, giving you the bottom. You see the bottom, and giving you the top. You see the top, and here giving you the bottom. All right, as the bottom is creating, that's why I say the Bollinger Band. 50 will give you the bottom and that bottom is going to be the current support and the top is going to be um i don't know let's not talk about the top yet because this trend is going up so bollinger band has come to create a low right here which means this is the current support and right here look we have a bottom is getting created right here so which means that what which means Bollinger Band came here to create a bottom okay it came to create a bottom with a pullback something that's happening around here but it's created a bottom gave us a top came back to create a bottom all right same here create a bottom create a top it came back to create a bottom you see it will come back after breaking the high it will come back now this is bollinger band created a high came back to create a bottom and this bottom is going to be is going to be the next support this is going to be the next support this one i'm touching here this is why bollinger band 50 is very very good and so perfect okay it's good and perfect and it is this Bollinger Band hmm, that creates this bottom within the next week is going to go create a top and while creating the top is going to break this high okay because Bollinger Band will break the current high this like this one broke this current high create this high broke this current high create this high this is why from this bottom it create a high after creating a high it came to create a low all right so creating a low is gonna go create a high by breaking this high so the expectation of the market right now is that we are expecting this high this current high created by Bollinger Band 50 to be broken which will lead us to the creation of a new high either here or going to break this current high 
whichever is going to do a new high will be created. Okay. And that new high will become a new resistance. Okay. That is the analysis right here, right now. But we want to do something more better and more specific. Because from what we have done right here, right now, we only have a support resistance that will alert us when price is landing on the support or touching the resistance. Okay? So that goes a long way to give us the alert. So now what we want to do right now is to, is to go find something that will give us the kind of alert we want to hear. The alert that will be ringing from this bottom whenever Bollinger Band has created a bottom like this, we want to know. So that we can quickly come and stay alert and jump into the market and buy at that point because that is the buying point. It is the lowest low that Bollinger Band has ever created. And how do we how do we know how do we know this? We're gonna go find one thing that's gonna tell us. But before we do that, I wanna give you something called trend line architect you see this trend line architect is going to draw automatically on your chart pointing the bottom to you the bottom that's been created by Bolin Japan it will tell you that is the bottom okay but in this case you need to see the trend line architect actually drill itself now let's go grab our trend line architect if you want a trend line architect, go to mql5.com and find the trend line architect. You will see it. It's a free tool. Okay? Now I'm going to grab it and I'm going to put it. You will see how it looks like. Now let's go. Boom. Um, no, not this one. Insert. Insert. Indicators. Custom indicators. Let me find trend line architect, please. Give me give me a little bit of time to find this trend line architect. Okay, I found it. Trend line architect found. Do you see the name? Trend line architect. This automatically will draw that bottom for you, and you will know that is the bottom. There's no need to change any settings right here. Just put it on your chart. Boom. That is it. Come on, look at. Boom. Bottom. <laughs> bottom is detected for you by trend line architect telling you to continue in the upside what do you need again what do you need you see it's wanting to 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 sit in front of your chart and you don't know what you're doing at all it's another thing for somebody to sit in front of chart and know everything like even the tool is going to use to do what they want to do this is the power of knowledge. Knowledge. How do I know all these tools that I'm sharing to you? Because I've been in this forex for a long time. And I've got a lot of experience. I know the tools that work for whatever I want to do. This is why I'm sharing this with you. <laughs> Look at man. Look at man. This is another bottom of Bollinger Band. Which tells you to go up. Okay. There is no trend line here. No problem. We're still going up. It's still a bottom landing on support. But here, boom, a trend line. This is telling you what? To continue in the up direction. The market has gone and came back to bounce on this trend line. So definitely what next? This price in the Bollinger Band will follow this trend line to start going up. Boom. Simple. When you look at the trend line architect only, you will know this this trend is uptrending market. And you are, you just know need to know that, okay. I'm gonna be buying the base. Whenever it lands on the trend line architect, I'm gonna buy the base. But will you sit in front of your chart and waiting for the price to come and bounce on the trend line architect? You know? Yeah, I mean that that will take you some few days or weeks headache even the trend that architect does not even make any sound 
<laughs> no sound, no alert. You're just going to sit down there watching Trend Like Architect, wasting your time, killing your days. You know what I mean? Killing your days and feeling shit. Feeling boring, feeling bored. Because you want the price to come and bounce on Trend Like Architect. Oh, but Trend Like Architect solve your problem. You don't need to think of where is the trend going. All you just know is that, okay, the price will go up and bounce back down. So when it bounces on trend like architect, you want to know. You want to come and buy. That is the base. Do you see that? <laughs> okay. Now, we, we don't need to slow down anymore. We don't need to slow down anymore. We're going to rush. All right? We're going to rush this. Because the trend like architect does not make any noise. It doesn't give a lot. But, you know, it shows us that that is the base. So what are we going to do now? Man, we want to go find something that will make that alert when the when the price bounce on that trend like architect. We want to go find something. And I'm going to show you that thing we're going to go pick now. You know what we're going to go pick? <laughs> okay, let me show you what we're going to go pick. We're going to go pick one kind of um one kind of support resistance line that always make a noise. You see, apart from this blue this one that I have here, apart from this one, okay, apart from this one that I have here, okay, apart from this one, okay, we're going to go find one more that will make noise whenever the price is bouncing on this uh, uh, trend line architect. We want to go find one or whatever this Bollinger Band is now making a base, we're going to put one thing that will be making that a lot, okay, and that is going to be, um, is going to be truncated support resistance line. Truncated. It's called truncated because huh, it makes noise like shit. It makes noise. It's known for making noise. Okay? It will definitely alert you from that base. From that base, it will alert you. Now, let me go grab it. You will see it. You can find it in mql5.com. You know, it's not a free tool. I got it long time ago when I when I was you know when I started doing forex, you know the name is KL truncated support resistance line. That is it. Let's put it. Boom. And we're gonna do the settings the way like okay. This way you will score when you load it, and we're gonna do the settings. The settings I wanna touch. Width of the short time frame. I don't need to touch that. Style of the short time frame. I don't need to touch that. I want to go to width of the long lines, um, long range or whatever that is. I don't need to touch it. Width. I want to touch um, okay. width of long range line. Is it the width? The width of that long range line or what? Mm, let's say the width. Yes, the width. Let's say 7. I love to use 7 because I love to see it very well. And the amount of bars, okay, in short time range. Okay, I want the amount of bars to be not 500, 1,000. I want 1,000, okay. Now, we want to go to make line selectable, no, no, no. Delete lines, no. We want to go find the alert system. Where is the alert? Um... Oh my god. Set price on I don't want mobile or I don't want any other thing. I want the sound. Distance. I don't want distance. Switch on sound alert. Yes. This one will make noise when the price is getting to the base. Boom. Put it in my friend. <laughs> Put it in my friend. Put it in, my friend. You know what is going on right now? This is it. Boom. The base. This is the truncated support resistance line. Truncated support resistance line on the base. I know there's one here. If you look properly, you will see it. The price is sitting on it. This is it. The price is sitting on it. This is it. 